vois que ça à droite. Quand tu es comme ça, tu bois tout en haut. Là, on est bien. Prends bon saut. Tout est plus vérifié. Tout est plus vérifié. On that passenger jet flying to Spain, from Spain to Germany, it's crashed in the Alps. More than 140 people believed to be on board. Authorities saying there appears to be no sign of survivors. And ABC's David Curley, who covers aviation for us, joins us with the latest details. David, good morning. Good morning, Amy. The wreckage has now been spotted in the southern French Alps. This is the second Airbus A320 to crash in recent months. This German Wings jetliner, which is a subsidiary of Lufthansa, was on a flight from Barcelona to Dusseldorf when it went down in this remote spot of the southern French Alps. It's actually near a popular ski area. It was carrying 142 passengers and a crew of six. The French president and now other French officials say there are no survivors. The wreckage will be difficult to reach. It is, as I mentioned, near a very popular ski area, but basically you either have to ski in or fly in. What's unusual is that this A320 was at cruising altitude of 38,000 feet, and then it lost altitude. The last recorded radar hit by Flight Radar 24 was at just 6,800 feet. Now, it took nine minutes to go from 38 to 6,800 feet, so it wasn't a precipitous uh, loss of altitude, but it was losing altitude. German Wings is a budget carrier known for short haul and tourist routes in Europe. As we say, they have spotted the wreckage, but Amy, at this point, we don't believe they are at the crash site yet. All right, David, thank you so much for the latest, and we'll have more information on the crash as we get it right here on ABC News.